Noodle Bear, the debut book by Mark Gravis. Silly Bear has a dream while he's hibernating about noodles. He's obsessed. He can't stop thinking about them. Noodle Bear by Mark Gravis. On the first day of spring, Fox invited all her forest friends to a party. Everyone was there except for her best buddy. Welcome back spring. Where's Bear? Fox thought Bear had forgotten to come, so she took a bowl of tasty snacks to his cave. Bear's cave was in shambles. He was snoring so loudly, Fox had to shout into his furry ears, Wake up, Bear! Instead of sleeping, Bear had spent most of the winter watching a wacky TV game show called Noodle Knockoff and snacking on all kinds of yummy noodles. Fat noodles, thin noodles, flat noodles, crispy noodles, rice noodles, egg noodles, gravy noodles, and his favorite fish-flavored noodles. Bear wasn't interested in Fox's bowl of leftover acorns, berries, and fish. All he could think about was noodles. He looked in the cupboard. He looked under the TV. He looked in his special secret hiding place, but there was no noodles anywhere. <clears throat> Bear asked his friends if they had any noodles. Squirrel had acorns, too crunchy. Beaver had sticks, too splintery. Deer had grass, too grassy. Rabbit had flowers, too flowery. So Bear lumbered over to Owl's house. Maybe he would have some noodles. Bear shook the tree, but Owl was asleep. He wasn't a daytime kind of bird. Hey, Owl! Bear was unhappy. He was hungry for noodles. Fox suggested catching some fish instead. After all, Bear was a bear, and that's what bears do best. Bear stood in the middle of the stream and waited for a fish to swim by, but he couldn't stop thinking about noodles. He lost his balance and fell into the water. Bear decided to go to the big city and become a contestant on the game show Noodle Knockout. Perhaps he'd win a lifetime supply of noodles. Fox was very sad to see her friend leave. Bye, Bear. Hope you find some noodles. It was a long way to travel, and Bear couldn't wait to get there. His log was too slow. Walking was too slow. The bus was too slow. So he hitched a ride with a friendly duck, who was also in a hurry. Bingo! Honk, honk! It was dark. By the time they reached the city, it was busy, it was noisy, it smelled like noodles. Beep, beep, honk, beep, beep. Bear joined a line of hopeful contestants. He was picked right away because he looked like a champion noodle eater. Good choice. Bear was very, very good at eating noodles. He outguzzled everyone in the Eat a Cup of Noodles challenge. He slurped to victory in the Eat a Bowl of Noodles challenge. And he gorged his way to first place in a Eat a Tub Full of Noodles challenge easily. Bear won week after week, and he was crowned the Grand Noodle Champion. Soon, he was a big star. He had his own cooking show, all the free noodles he could eat. But Bear missed the forest, his comfy cave, and his friends, especially Fox. 
he remembered all the fun things they used to do together. Swimming in the stream, hunting for honey, and karaoke night. So Bear went back to the forest. It was a long, 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 long way home. Everyone was happy to see Bear. Fox threw a big party for him. Even Owl was there. Fox had acorns, sticks, grass, and flowers to eat, but still no noodles. Welcome back, Bear. Bear didn't mind at all. He had enough noodles for everyone. So tasty, so juicy, so soft, so slippery. This book is dedicated to Sandra for her support, even though she doesn't like noodles, and to BTG, who knows all about bears and other things, too. The End Noodle Bear by Mark Gravis